Meghan Markle and Prince Harry always wanted to live in Windsor but Frogmore Cottage was not their first choice. Here's how Meghan and Harry originally wanted a much bigger home than the five-bedroom house they now have. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry moved from Kensington Palace to Windsor in April where they took up residence at Frogmore Cottage. The five-bedroom home received a £2.4 million revamp to suit the Duke and Duchess needs. However, the luxury abode was not their first choice, according to reports. Meghan and Harry's desire to raise a family outside of the royal bubble prompted them to move to Windsor. While the pair have apparently settled into to Frogmore Cottage where they will raise their son Archie Harrison the large house was not their dream home. The royal duo apparently had their sights set on the big house, Windsor Castle, and asked the Queen if they would be able to move in there after their wedding last May. Royal author and Deputy Lord Lieutenant of Berkshire, Hugo Vickers, told the Sunday Times, there are empty bedrooms and suites in the private apartments which the Sussexes may have had their eye on, or perhaps some former living quarters in the castle grounds converted into other things. But I can see how it might not be entirely appropriate to have a young family living there. However, their bid to become the Queen's new housemates was tactfully rejected by the monarch who offered them Frogmore Cottage instead. Meghan and Harry have faced some backlash for the £2.4 million of public money that was spent on refurbishing their Windsor pad. However, the money was set aside by the Crown for renovations ahead of Meghan and Harry's decision to move in. While Frogmore Cottage is no the castle they hoped for the Sussex clan seem to be happy there. Meghan and Harry are said to be planning to build an extensive outdoor play area for Archie at the property. The couple who are fiercely protective of their son's privacy have also ordered more trees to be planted around the property's border. Windsor is dear to both Harry and Meghan as they were married there at St. George's Chapel last spring. While they have been putting down roots in Windsor since April, the keen travelers have already taken two trips away with Archie this summer. Meghan and Harry jetted off with Archie to Ibiza to celebrate the Duchess' birthday earlier this month and have since been spotted in Nice, France. The eco-friendly royals have been criticized for taking private jets having previously championed environmental causes. Prince Harry raised eyebrows earlier this month following reports he took a private jet to a Google Climate Change Summit in Sicily. The Duke also revealed he and Meghan plan to limit the number of children they have to two for the sake of the environment. Harry made the bold admission in an interview with primatologist Dr. Jane Goodall for the September issue of British Vogue which his wife guest edited. Meghan and Harry could take Archie on a third summer holiday as they are expected to visit the Queen at Balmoral in Scotland later this month.